Well, I think, you know, it can be a very controversial topic, you know, like to sell, to not sell. You see people on Twitter and all these spaces and they're like, man, the only way to create real wealth is to never sell an asset. And then of course you have both sides of the fence here. And for us, our background was my dad, our fourth partner is he comes from background of developing his own projects and he still holds, holds those assets today. That's a very interesting way of looking at it. That was before we started raising capital with Nomad and scaling to what we're doing now. So part of that strategy is that's what got us here, but will yeah. it get us there, right? And so we ask this question all the time because there is that that magical day you get a CEO or you open the doors on the next building. I mean, especially for ground up, the day you get that that golden CEO, you've got an appraisal in hand that is, you've just created so much value. You've taken so much risk off the table for the next right. buyer, for the next group, for the bank. And so that's, that's really your golden ticket or that that's your CO. That's where you create so much of the value. Right. So, and Levi, it doesn't have to be one or the other. You can run both strategies at the same time. So for example, let's say you, you build up a portfolio of five to 10 assets that you went through the value add process, you sell off nine of them. You use that equity to pay off all your investors, pay off all the debt, and then you keep that 10th one pay off the investors and the bank, but then keep the asset. So kind of using your flip five to keep one, flip five to keep one strategy. Because in the end of the day, you know, I don't want to be the richest person in the world. My biggest thing is I want time freedom. And the only way to have time freedom and truly a low stress lifestyle is to have no one to answer to. And unfortunately, everyone thinks that as a capital raiser, you're your boss, but you're not. The bank is your boss and all your investors are your boss. So how do you shift into a way where you can go gallivant around you know, the beaches of Brazil without having to worry every day that everything's going according to plan. And the easiest way to do that is to slowly start stacking assets that have no debt and no equity. <laughs>